fun to do bad things and drive into a car. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while, but we got some big things coming. So we got some race car parts coming for the IS300. As you guys may know, at the last drift event, uh, the clutch went out. And so I ordered a stage three action clutch. And so we're gonna show you guys when we get to the shop. But uh, shout out to Julian, spoof. Uh, for getting me a deal with stage wheels and uh, I got a full set of stage night wheels that should be coming in today which is why I gotta be waiting over there for the wheels to come in so uh, yeah we got some cool things coming in and we got we're gonna work on the GS today too so hopefully we'll get to that later in the video um, we're gonna try some Lucas oil inside the engine see if that stops the ticking because that's what a lot of shops have been telling me I actually took it to get looked at and they said the lift the buckets the hydraulic buckets um, they're not hydraulic buckets they're just buckets whatever they're called I don't know how they work um, they are they, they could be, need to be shinned but you can try some Lucas oil to how quiet it down and yeah, we're gonna try that. If it doesn't work, then you know what? We're gonna leave it. But yeah, let's head to the shop and let's get to working on the cars. All right, so here is the new clutch we'll probably put in this weekend. It is a stage three. So let me just make sure it's a stage three. Six puck, you can see the pucks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, honestly, this is the first time running that aggressive of a clutch so i'm kind of excited to see how it feels um, i know i might lose treatability but this leads me to the next thing i want to talk about i got played only one wheel came in today i want to show you this but look at that stage wheels this is the specs i'm running don't hate it no i hate the specs but i like running small wheels and the offset on this is a plus 10 and but 17 by 8 plus 10 is not a common offset and wheel spec and it fits perfect on the ice 300 i love it you guys are gonna have to wait till tomorrow but for you guys it's a couple seconds but yeah we're gonna wait till tomorrow and then i'm gonna get the tires mounted for these wheels and throw it on the car so i thought we're gonna mount the tires today on the the is but looks like we're gonna have to wait a little bit so i'm gonna pack some stuff so i can try to put the lucas oil in the gs and see how that turns out but we gotta donate some oil because i think my oil bin is full so let's clean that up let's see how full it is. yep pretty full so i'm gonna drop it off at autozone before i head home I'm gonna need some gloves Ugh. what else i think i got tools over there you're gonna need the 14 and oil duh i'm gonna save this oil for the is but uh that dead fly right there yeah i was gonna save the oil for the is but we're gonna have to use it and buy a new one later and see put on the gs because you know make that car feel good what else so this car is actually gonna get some maintenance and a refresh probably by the end of this week so you'll get a video on that i got a clutch you see the wheels coming um and then i'm gonna fix the side skirts the rear lip and probably throw some more aero bits on it all right back at the house garage so basically we're gonna put in some where is it maybe you're in the front seat is the car battery dead car battery might be dead well Okay, we don't need a battery right now. But we're gonna put some Lucas oil into the engine because people say it helps. Yeah, but the battery really dead? Just... Oh, battery is dead. All right. Well, it's okay. We'll jump it later, but uh, yeah, we're gonna back it out slowly and then do the oil change. All right, so this is actually just gonna be a quick 
drain and fill. We're not gonna change the filter because the filter is pretty much brand new. I probably have 50 miles on this filter, so it should be fine. Um, yeah, we're just gonna change the oil, put this new oil in, and put uh, the Lucas oil in, and then, yeah, I'm gonna give go for a test drive. Right now it's draining. See under there? Draining, you see that red? But clean oil still. All right, I'm putting this whole bottle in here. Let's see how that works. So it says to use 20% of the system capacity. This takes 5.7, but a whole bottle should be fine. Um, I don't want to put too much. So one bottle is good. And we're gonna put some oil in there and then start the car. All right, time to jump the car and see if it works. So, put you guys up here. The car is on. Don't know why my radio is not working. That's weird. Um, but I'm back on the car a bit so we can so we don't breathe in the the fumes that much. So I'm let the car warm up and then we'll go for a drive. All right guys, it's been a, a couple days since the last clip. Uh, I've been going back and forth about what to do with this car. And it's also, it's fucking eight o'clock in the morning. I had, a lot, I had a lot of work these last few days. So I finally have time to go mount the wheels on the car. We did pick up the wheels from the tire shop. I think two days ago. So, and we also have more parts that came in from the IS, but uh, I've been going back and forth about this conversation in my head about what to do with the GS. It's been giving me problems, but like it drives, right? It drives, it's good. The only thing that's like really hesitant for me, don't mind me, I'm super daily this morning, but, oh, allergies, okay. The only thing that's super hesitant for me is the uh, engine ticking. So, and trying to sell this car, people are very weary of the ticking. I mean, I would be too. So, uh, I'm buying ahead and me and my friends are going to swap it. So, you will get some more content from this car. Who knows? After I fix up everything, I might love it and keep it. But, uh, yeah, we're going to buy a used head. We're not going to do much to it. It might resurface it. But uh, we're going to swap it in real quick. And then, uh, if you notice, the steering wheel has some cheapo nardy. It's actually a fake Nardi. Um, drip button's gone and cheap shifter. So I'm putting this car back to like, I'm using only cheap parts for this car. Uh, I'm gonna keep it as like the beater. So it's gonna be the daily, it's gonna be the beater, cheap, the cheap stuff. Uh, so if I sell it, I still have all my good parts for the IS. But um, yeah, it has all like cheap stuff right now that works. And so hopefully I swap the head. Um, the electrical issue seems to come and go, come and go. Um, the radio doesn't work right now because I found out um, they were, that was a short, but like it was staying on. So I had to figure out how to turn it off, but I just unplugged it. So um, yeah, I was causing my battery to drain. So I think the official plan is here the timeline out. So, uh, so this is what I think we're gonna do. This weekend, we're gonna do the clutch, get the car prepped for drift events. Um, I don't know what I'm prepping for at this point. Um, but I'm gonna prep for a drift event, so hopefully I can go drifting soon because I miss it and I want to feel the car feel, I want the car to make sure you feel good. I want to get that dialed in and by the end of this month so I can go back to driving. And after that, we're gonna focus on this car. This car will probably sit in my garage as like a project car until it runs. And yeah, the I'll daily the IS, but I'm also looking for a Sequoia. But if you guys want to buy the, uh, the GS as is, I'll give you a good deal, but I'm gonna keep working on it and the more I work on it, the price is gonna keep going up. So 
Um, yeah, let's start to work on the IS. Look what we have here, boys. Thank you, Stage, for the wheels. I actually came to pick it up a while ago. We got some more wheels sitting here. I got those two mounted. Um, so I have another set I need to mount. And then we got some more race car parts right here. Pop it open for you guys. Turn on the light. Oh, oh looks like they changed their materials. Nope, they didn't. It's the same. Feels different though. I, I had them before. The color seems different. It's not just blue. It's really silver. Almost machine, but looks like it's painted though. It's like chrome plated almost. So we got that. Hardware. Packaging shit. And this is what I was waiting for right here. Make sure you ask for the yellow bushings. If you do get these, these are excessive. Um, the new style, new style cross member to the old style W58 with yellow bushings. Yellow bushing means it's a softer bushings for the W58. I mean, for the transmission, so it doesn't rattle the whole car, and it, it still feels more solid than OEM. So you got this. We got the clutch. We got wheels. Um, the car is going to be a little more race car-ish. It's going to suck on the road, but it's going to feel a lot better on the track. All right, here's all the stage wheels. Got one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm pretty sad. I'm pretty, pretty upset right now. I dropped the wheel. I chipped it pretty bad right there, but everything else is fine. Everything else is good. I was too excited and I opened it, but you know what? They're just spares. I'm not going to be too upset. So got four perfectly good ones. But look, look at that black chrome. Sheesh. It's not my first time running stage wheels. So I had the gold or bronze ones, not the gold one, the bronze ones. They look sick. Um, the black chrome look even cooler. On um, the contrast of like silvers, you get like a dark silver, like a gunmetal silver, and then like light silver. It just, I don't know, it's doing it for me right now. Let's get these mounted. All right, throwing my new, not really new, but PBM knob from the GS into here because that GS is getting all cheap shit. Just getting all the good shit. There we go. Let's move this to the center of the garage so I can work on it. Because it's not as wide as the wheel, it doesn't have stretch. I, the offset is almost identical. I think this is one millimeter like inside. So uh, we'll see how it fits because there is no stretch on these wheels whatsoever. So dang, okay. My lugs barely, barely fit. Ah, it fits fine. I was worried about fitment, but it's not gonna rub. It might under compression, but looks good though. Full set. I don't remember my 17 by eight having stretch on a 215 tire. Uh, maybe it's just a brand because I'm running Acceleras now. Um, but yeah, it looks good. Hell yeah. All right, so today we're gonna be getting ready to take this transmission out. Got Julian to help me out, hopefully. Put him, to, put him to work. Uh, can you pop the hood? I don't have a hood latch, so I gotta get it. <laughs> you know, I, I don't want to spend any extra money on this car. <laughs> if it fits in your your bag and pick pool, <laughs> Okay. If I remember correctly, we gotta take off the headers. Then take the exhaust manifold, the exhaust, drive shaft, transmission. Yeah, so this should be pretty easy. It's just a couple bolts here. One, two, three in here. Comes off. Let's take unplug this stuff. All this stuff needs to go. filming on and off a bunch of stuff but kind of got most of the things done hey how's it going so we, we took off the the headers 
the exhaust intake and you need to take all that out so you can take out the dry shaft we drained the oil we drained the oil down there because you need to access you see that right there so if I can zoom in why is it zooming so slow Yep, you see that bolt right there? That's for the that's the engine mount. You need to loosen it so that way you can tilt the engine back so you can pull the transmission out. And we did drain the transmission as well. So car is pretty much ready to pull the transmission out. Last thing I need to do before um, my homie Efren comes is take out the shifter and then we can just loosen the, the bell housing and then take everything out. We didn't film shit, but we actually pulled <laughs> The transmission out he got some footage of it so you might see it from him but this is clutch it's honestly not bad like i don't know how to look at a clutch like it is i don't see any crazy burnt marks um the springs are loose like you hear a rattle i don't know if that's normal or is it oh the spring collapsed what is I don't know if you see inside there, there's like a spring inside the spring. Looks like it snapped in there. It's hard to see in there. What does that mean? So these two are loose. Now this is the most loose one right here. One of them was pretty loose. But we got a stage three to put in, so we're gonna do that tomorrow because I don't have a good torque wrench. So I didn't film anything, but the clutch is in. Kind of want to show you guys what I have done so far and things that I've upgraded. Let's get under the car. You can see I have the new excessive cross member, new transmission bushing, and the clutch is installed, everything ready to go. The only thing left I need to do is fill the transmission up and put the exhaust on. So right now we're gonna fill up the transmission. All right, the oil is about halfway to the dipstick. I mean like halfway centered in the, where it should be, so. Car starts, no issues. Try going first gear. Like it's working. Well, the car's driving, which is good. The car started, which is good as well. So I put the car down and drive around the neighborhood. See how this clutch feels. Stage three. Went for a quick test drive. Car works. Everything's good. Clutch is a little bit loud, but it needs to be broken in. So yeah, you guys can admire it for now. Sorry, this video was kind of all over the place. Um, just want to rush and get this clutch in because this is like my third, fourth time pulling a W58 and I'm tired of it. So I just wanted to get it over with. Yeah. Also, I didn't show you guys the flywheel, but you can see the flywheel was pretty glazed over. Um, I think it's a bunch of heat spots and it's not terrible, but uh, for the shitty ass clutch, you look at that, you can see the glaze over it. Yeah, I mean, it's a pretty like cheap eBay clutch, so I think it just wasn't gripping under high heat. It was just slipping. So, um, yeah, I mean, it was three years old and it's all drifting, all clutch kicks. Three years old, all drifting, all clutch kicks, and yep, uh, it's time to upgrade. So, excited to try this out. Hopefully, I installed everything correctly. The car seems to drive normal. That stage three clutch feels really OEM. Like, it bites like my almost my stock clutch. So, Kind of excited to see how it feels, see how it grips and how it clutch kicks and all that. So, uh, yeah. All right, so I know I've been slacking on my posting. Uh, sorry, guys. Uh, just a lot of work and life stuff coming in. But this car is good. It can drive now. Um, the only thing I need to do is fix the temperature gauge on the radiator and tighten all the subframe bolts because everything in the back is loose. So, uh, with that being said, 
Uh, I do have some drift events lined up to get this car shaken down. Uh, we'll, I will be at Sonoma April 5th. That'll be my kind of testing day to shake down this car, make sure the clutch works for the RAF event, which is four days later, April 9th. And then we have the July event. Uh, my event is, which I didn't tell you guys, I have an event coming on July 15th. Flyers here, 10 spots, very limited, small seat time session, so only 10 drivers allowed. Just so everybody can get a lot of seat time and practice that they need. And then July, 29 and 30th is carnival so uh, we got a, bunch, a bunch of events planned out so uh, we gotta make sure this car is in tip-top shape the body wise isn't the greatest i mean one side looks good the other side looks like shit so we are gonna paint the other side hopefully in the next few weeks or so but um yeah for now i want to get the temperature gauge in i don't want to drive the car until that's settled tighten all the bolts so i'll probably get that done in the next two days and then we can go and have some fun with this car so thank you guys for sticking around i know I haven't been uploading as much lately, so I'm gonna do my best now. And got a little more time, a little more motivation because the car is up and running. I was tired of sitting and down and doing nothing, but yeah, thank you guys. We just hit 7,000 7, subscribers, so I really appreciate you guys. You guys are, you know, sticking with me from the very beginning and, you know, really interested in the videos. I know most of it's how to's and drifting, but, uh, you know, we're, we're getting there one step at a time. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.